Hey everyone, it's author and musician Sarah Crawford. Today I'm coming at you with something I haven't done in a very long time, and that is a book haul. Okay, so I ordered a bunch of books from Book Outlet a couple weeks ago, and uh, oh, I'm also going to be doing my first ever unboxing. <laughs> Which I don't really get why people want to watch people opening boxes, but you know, to each his own, or her own, or their own. I also went to a used bookstore called Second and Charles. I had like two boxes of books that were my ex-husband's that I needed to get rid of. So I got some store credit and I bought some books there. I was a little like unsure about going to Second and Charles, but everybody was wearing masks. Um, they were keeping it very clean. I used to have a lot of hand sanitizer. It seemed like it was gonna be okay. So I'm gonna do a book haul of the books that I got there as well. So I guess in an unboxing video, you should show opening the box. <laughs> I cheated and cut the tape beforehand so I wouldn't have to film myself like cutting it. All right, my first book that I got is called Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. I don't know if you say it like Stephen Colbert or I, I'm not sure how you say it, but it won the Stonewall Book Award. It seems like a cute little contemporary YA. I haven't read any contemporary in quite a while. So I thought, it, you know, I thought it sounded fun. The next book I got is called The Sun Does Shine by Anthony Ray Henton. This is a, in the Oprah book club. So you know it's gotta be good if Oprah likes it. This is about the true story of Anthony Ray Henton. He spent 30 years on death row for a crime he did not commit. So this seems fascinating to me. I also think it's probably a very relevant book considering everything that's going on right now. The next book I got is called Pride by I-D-I-Z-O-B-O-I. -I -I. It's a Pride and Prejudice remix. So it's Pride and Prejudice, but like a modern version that takes place in Brooklyn. Seems like a y YA, pretty sure. I don't know. I love Jane Austen. I love any kind of, you know, remix. Like, it, it seems interesting. You probably notice a theme with these books. I was trying to um, add some more books by Black authors to my collection. The next book I got is called Modern Romance by Aziz Ansari. He is hilarious to me. His stand-up on, you know, where he basically talks about like dating in this day and age is really funny. So I figured the book would probably be a lot, you know, similar. I think he's hilarious in Parks and Recreation. I really love his stand-up. I really love his show on Netflix. Master of None, I think. Is that coming back on? Are they doing another season for that? I feel like they should. Anyway, so that's that. And uh, this book is called All the Stars and Teeth by Adolin Grace. Adolin Grace? Adolin? Adolin? Who knows? This is just like your typical YA high fantasy novel, which I really like to read those because I write them. And last but not least is Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman. This is the sequel to Scythe? Sith? How do you say that word? I don't, I'm butchering all the words. I can't say anything. Uh, anyway, this is the sequel. I really liked the first one. Um, so, you know, I wanted to check out Although, you know, who's really in the mood for like dystopian kind of book right now? But I feel like this book is, is a little different than normal, just like dystopian. So just the concept of living in a 
society that has overcome death and these people have to decide who is gonna die anyway. I feel like that's a fascinating premise. Those are my book outlet books. Pretty excited to read those. Um, my second of Charles books. First one I got is called Starflight by Melissa Landers. Uh, first of all, let's just talk about how beautiful this cover is for a second. I mean, that's, that's awesome. I love like anything that's like, you know, stars and space and galaxy. I mean, as you can see by my Muse Chronicles covers, you know, they're, they all have like the galaxy on them. This is like a YA sci-fi, like she goes to live in space kind of deal. And she meets this guy and she convinces him to pretend he's her servant on the spaceship and they fall in love. Or maybe they are in love. No, they're not in love at the beginning. They fall in love, of course. But you know, I like, I like uh, books with romance. All, all of my books have some romance. The next book I got is Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella. Is that how you say it? Kinsella? Again, with the theme of me not knowing how to say words. I read a book by her uh, called 20s Girl last summer and I loved it so much. It, it made me literally laugh out loud multiple times. So I wanted to, you know, check out another book that she wrote. Yeah, this one just seemed the most interesting to me. It's basically uh, this 28 year old woman wakes up in London and she was just in a car accident and then she lost like a huge chunk of her memory like the last three years so she's you know trying to piece together her life it so it sounds like you know especially with her writing style it sounds like it's gonna be pretty funny look at this cool dream catcher bag i got from second and charles um oh here's another name i'm gonna butcher it. this is mirror in the sky by a DT Corona. This is like a sci-fi book where about an alternate Earth, pretty much. And those are all the books I got at Second to Charles. Although I did also get this cool little tourist journal with lots of spacey galaxy stuff going on. I love journals. I buy them all the time. People get them as gifts for me. Like, I just love journals. All right, so those are all the books that I got from Book Outlet and at Second and Charles. Have any of you guys read any of these books? What did you think about them? Let me know. Do you have any opinions about Book Outlet or Second and Charles or anything else? Let's chat it up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos about books, writing, music, art, creativity. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.